I promised that I would get an achievement for being good at hidden objects. Here's the next hidden objects challenge. Let's see if I can get the achievement. I'm gonna try to prep things. I'm gonna use the branch there for snowflake. Clear these things away for a mirror. So those are two of the hidden hidden objects. And let's go. Yeah, yeah, got the achievement. Oh yeah, oh yeah, woo, did it. Woo! Okay! Okay. So now, now I can take my time and not have to rush through this. Oh, I didn't even click the mirror. Oh, okay. Well, the important item is the lens over here. That gives you a lens. Obviously, the lens gives you a lens. Let me check. Did I find the, the mouse? Okay, so I still need to find the, the morphing object. Whoops! <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. It's actually right here. There's the morphing object, and here's the mouse. And this area, did I find the mice in here? Let me just double check. Ah, oh, there's one more mouse. Uh, it's right here. Easier to find when the crystals are gone. And uh, also the ties. You want to use the ties here to get a lantern. You got the ties from the hedgehog. So use the oil on the lantern to fix the lantern. Good, good, good. Okay, and now we should be completely done with the area inside uh, the little blacksmith's hut. The lamp is going to be used here in this dark area. So let's see, this needs lenses. We're going to use lenses. Whoa! Aha! That's where we need to go in the mine. Uh, we also need to pick up this bottle. And you want to use this ribbon here on the axe. You can use the axe to destroy these boards and get inside the mine. We're going to follow after the culprit, but it's too deep. And too steep, I can't get there. I might get lost. Oh no, oh dear. Here's a morphing object. Here's a mouse. And this is kind of a tricky area. Let's see, I gotta grab the gear. And I need to clean this before I can get that item. Hmm. Okay, so I'm grabbing grabbing the, the cloth from the gears. Then I'm gonna clean this. Cinderella here? She looks so sad. Poor Cinderella. And once it's clean, I can pick up that item there. I'll be using it over here, but let me grab these items first. Scissors will cut these thorny vines. Giving me another gear, and hey, lighting up this area. Did Cinderella come here from time to time? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? It's a mystery. Here's the final gear. It's near the, the scorpion without a stinger. How curious. So the three gears go here on the gears for a gear puzzle. Simple enough puzzle. Just click on a gear to rotate it. You want to rotate the gears to form a picture of Cinderella. Cinderella holding the slipper. I think her arm is probably going to go like this. Yeah, that looks better. Good. So now I can travel down to this area. I'm going to use my shovel. I'm going to pick up that ring and put the bottle in the place. Grab these five drops of resin. And then grab the bottle again. I'll use it here. You put the resin there. Resin is sort of like glue. And then you just throw these pieces onto the board. Doesn't matter which order you throw them onto the board in. That clears up the pathway. And we learn Cinderella was trapped down here in the mines for a long time. As we saw previously, Cinderella's evil stepmother locked her in the mines. It's starting to sound like she was locked inside forever. And the heart should open up the way. Yeah, Cinderella died and became that evil ghost who's been haunting us this game. So. Was she trapped in there forever? Could she not escape in time? It's starting to look like there was no escape for poor Cinderella. And did I miss the mouse? Okay, there's one mouse here. Hmm. I don't see the mouse off the top of my head. I'm just going to click randomly until I find it. Oh, no, never mind. Let's just keep going. It's the evil golem, everybody. The evil golem has returned. 
Hi, Marshmallow. Long time no see. <laughs> here's a mouse. Here's a morphing object. So we're going to take a look over here. We're going to use the scissors to cut... Oh, wait. Let's look at these papers from Cinderella. I will never meet the prince again. Stepmother gave the order to lock me in the mine. Even a magic crystal or a spell book cannot help me. The mine consists of crystals, but the magic's powerless. That must be a really sturdy lock. Turns out I'm capable of magic. Maybe I can take my vengeance upon them all. Revenge! Oh, and here's a picture to that scorpion puzzle. Just in case you're wondering. Uh, scissors go there for some arrows. Which we'll use to defeat that evil golem. Here. These spells can destroy the most powerful magic. Magic spells, huh? Those seem useful. You want to use the tongs to pick up the dynamite. Good, so now I have all the dynamite. Haha, <laughs> dynamite power. Oh, and there's the other mouse. So I believe I'm going to take a step back. We're going to take a look at the scorpion again. Put the stinger into place and put the code into place. This gives us a puzzle. So what you need to do is just rotate the scorpion. So it matches that picture. Matches that picture exactly. So the inner ring uh, controls what direction these things are facing. The outer ring controls uh, the, the pointy edges. Hmm, let's see. I think this, that one looks good. It is kind of difficult. I'm not particularly good at these challenges. This one needs to be pointing downwards, correct? Hmm. Okay, so which one do I not have correct? Because once you get it correct, the game says, Hooray, you did it. Stop trying. <laughs> yeah, that one looks perfect, this back leg. That one looks pretty good, too. Perhaps it's this one. I don't recall having touched this one. Hmm. It could be this one, too. There. Okay, it was that one. Okay, so move these things aside, giving us two fancy items. Let's see. The, the, uh, let's see. I want to use the wand here first. This is a puzzle. It's not a difficult puzzle, just click on all the dots. Doesn't matter what order you click the dots in. Does not order, I mean, does not matter in the slightest. Gives you a candle. So the crossbow is gonna need arrows, it's gonna need dynamite, and it's gonna need a candle. So first you put the arrow, then the dynamite, then the candle, and you're gonna use the crossbow on the ice golem. Kaboom! Same puzzles before, you just click when the circles overlap, and that defeats the evil monster. Now he'll be gone for good, and certainly will never return to haunt me again. And here is a hidden objects challenge, a kind of tricky hidden objects challenge. You need to find all the items. So, for example, dress plus gown, I believe, is dance music. So use the handle over here. For dance music, it gives you dancing. Uh, hair is comb plus mirror, so that we've got a lock of hair inside there. Kind of difficult. Okay, mice plus pumpkin equals carriage. Well, that one's easy. Uh, you know, the prince in Cinderella, love. The heart equals love. And uh, the maid and the maid, well, that's the maid. Okay. Needle and thread is a cross stitch. And then pen and paper is a book. And you want to move this around to make it midnight. So we have the castle. And crystal uh, plus uh, pick equals that minecart full of crystal. And let's see. Tier. That's uh, the crystal tier. What is this? Water plus plant. That's got to be like some sort of food, right? I don't know. Let's take a look at this. Crystals have magic powers, but the supply of this force will be exhausted over time. Crystals have magic powers, but the supply of this force will be exhausted over time. You wrote the same thing twice. So, here's Cinderella's evil plot. The 
possess the crystal slippers, wait until midnight, find a way to get those evil slippers on the princess's feet, that way Cinderella can possess the princess! That will curse the castle, and will awaken the evil spirit. Exactly one day later, so this is midnight on the second day, you know, the midnight that's soon, uh, the power will be fully absorbed, and Cinderella will be able to open a portal into the past, and time will stop so she can make changes to the timeline. Wow! And then female with magic is in fact the fairy godmother. So, I, I, a water plus plant, that's got to equal a full grown plant, right? What is on this screen that could be a full blown plant? I don't want to use a hint. Oh, there it is. It's the tree. Yeah, it's the, it's hard to see that tree. It's in the background. It's sort of a shadowy tree, but yeah, the tree is in fact the item you wanted to get. I will help you destroy the magic of crystal. And let's hear more about Cinderella's story. What happened after she, what happened after she was thrown in the mines? Cinderella, honest and kind. She paid for someone else's envy. I can use her tear. Cinderella was doomed to die in the mine, but she found a magic crystal and a spellbook there, and her mind turned to revenge. Years passed, and Cinderella's magic grew. Her body turned to ash long ago, but her evil spirit was waiting for the right moment. On that day, at midnight, the crystal slippers would bring her spirit back and turn back time. Use the anti-magic powder to get out of the mine. This is Cinderella's fate. Poor Cinderella. I can understand why she wants to go back in time and undo everything, but... Come back soon. Gosh, yeah, I mean, that would just create an evil timeline where everything's terrible, right? I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to do that. Let's finish this video uh, by finding the remaining mice. It's here. Really, really difficult to find. And let's see, mouse here. Where is that other mouse? Ah, ah, ah. mouse there and the morphing object is this box right on top of there